Well, you heard about, you already about started as a project uh, using a hosted uh, collection of audio art from a Danish museum in Roskilde. And we wanted to use the art pieces, our audio art pieces, without uh, changing them. So we made this bar instead. And you choose a bottle. Some of them are very exact. This one tells us the track is from the uh, first part of the 80s. Some of them are very subjective. Like if I remove this one and choose this, this should be a very noisy track. The computer will find a noisy track. And of course I can combine bottles. Like I wanted to hear a noisy track, but the uh, hum humanoid noise. Let's see what it finds. Versus keeping the noise but changing the human with a machine. Or keeping the machine and removing the noise. So, and there's 12 different parameters. This is narrative. I don't know what a, what a search into the database with a very narrative and uh, machine-like track will end with. It's very low, hard to tell. But I can combine with narrative and human. I'll remove. And only keep a human thing. I think it's a Swedish track, if I remember right. And I can keep a human track and combine it with, it should be very simple. There's too much noise here to really hear anything, but I think we have to add the noisy part again to hear anything. I should place them in the middle. I wanted to have a playful social interaction between all the guests, the users of the thing. And it's like a parody of a playful environment for grown-ups would be a bar. And that's why it ended up being a bar and bottles. In, in the 80s, I worked a lot of music, publishing uh, in the punk scene. But then in, in, the, in the 90s, I got involved in computer-based art, and especially net-based art, and I got very involved in interaction. But at the same time, that, uh, that is, that, sorry, that perhaps answers one of your other questions. I also got very tired of the mouse uh, screen interface. So I wanted to do the, something that was more tactile, like physical things, physical interaction. And, that's why this piece of furniture <laughs> and bottles is, is so great for me as an interactive thing. It has to be a museum board. <laughs> no, it's, it's the museum that hosted the order collection that bought it. But we uh, actually, the museum and I have, have built a second version a smaller portable version, but this is the big version. The, the portable version? Uh, it's called, called the camping bar. <laughs> yeah, that's, it's, it's smaller, it's, it's uh, more compact, easier to transport, and only features 100 bottles. And the idea is that you can print the, print the labels locally. This is in Danish English. 
but uh, it has to be printed in Portuguese now for exhibition in Brazil. Um, so, so the idea is you bring this bar along and you print the labels locally in the la local language.